it's Jam, Mrs. Faith Ananafi here, and today we have a Bible story. So we're going to do our Kish Jam a little bit different. We're not going to do worship tonight. We're just going to go dive into our Bible story. So if you want to follow along, we're going to be in Exodus 19-20, and we're going to be talking about the Ten Commandments. You know, God, way back in the day, wanted us to follow Him. And when Moses was around, he, during that time, they didn't have rules. So God had them make, so he had Moses come up and make rules with him. And that's what we call the Ten Commandments. Now, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I don't like to listen to the rules, you know. And, but when we follow Christ, and when we follow God, we have to listen to them because... It's what we have to do, you know. God wanted us to obey Him, and obeying Him is listening to His rules. So we're going to learn about these rules and what they are and, you know, how they can apply to our lives. So, so let's dive into our lesson today. So, Moses had a bunch of people called the Israelites. And they got out of Egypt and they were wandering around the wilderness uh, and didn't have a lot of guidance. So God had Moses come up to a mountain and talk about, you know, the laws they're going to have and commandments and all this stuff. And so that's what they did. So Moses was on this mountain and he was talking to Jesus and the Israelites were waiting for him. Now, the Israelites got a little bored, and they wanted to start worshiping something. So, they decided to talk to Aaron, which is Moses' second in command. And they talked to Aaron, and they were like, Aaron, like, you know, we're getting bored, we want to worship something. So they made an idol. Now, this doesn't look like a calf, because I can't make a calf idol, because I'm not that talented. So we're going to pretend this is a calf idol. So they made this calf idol out of gold that they had from their earrings and jewelry and stuff like that. And they worshipped it. And while they were doing that, God saw that and had Moses go down and talk to them. And Moses was so mad that he like threw the Ten Commandments that Jesus made onto the floor. And they broke in half. And he burned the the golden calf and everything. And so, God was so mad that he almost destroyed the Israelites. But Moses was like, no, like, these are your people. And so, Moses went back up to the mountain and had the Ten Commandments built again. And the people decided to follow no matter what because they knew that God is an all-powerful God and he, he's always been there for us. And so the Ten Commandments are as followed. God, so number one is God is the only true God. Number two, never make idols. Number three, never mis misuse the Lord's name. Four, rest on the Sabbath day, keep it holy. Five, honor your father and mother. Six, do not murder. Seven, husbands and wives must not commit adultery. Eight, do not kill, do not steal, excuse me. Nine, do not tell lies. And ten, never want what belongs to others. And so, those were the ten commandments. And Moses brought them up brought them from the mountain down and the Israelites started following it. Now, it still wasn't easy for them to follow them and because we're human and like the Israelites, sometimes we don't like to follow rules. I mean, how many of you have rules that your parents made that you don't like? Whether that's you can't eat cookies before dinner or you can't go outside because you didn't do your homework or whatever. And sometimes we disobey and we don't listen to those rules. But 
when we do that, it can not only harm us, but harm people around us. And that's what God wanted us to realize with these Ten Commandments, is that, you know, when we disobey Him, we're not only hurting ourselves, but we're hurting Him and other people around us. And that's why He made these Ten Commandments. So, we're going to pray. So if everyone can bow your head and close your eyes and fold your hand. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for these Ten Commandments. I pray that you will help us to follow them with the best of our abilities. I pray that you would just guide us with your love and that you would just help us to have a good week and just have us to have a fun school day for the rest of the week. In your name, amen. Alright, Kiss Jam, I'll see you later.